Hey everybody, it's me, Don, and I have another video. I'm, uh, I am, uh, well, I'm going to be showing some other stuff, uh, as well as this. And, uh, whew, this is my first time ever, uh, getting a Funko Pop because I don't normally collect these, but I saw this one, it's Slimer. Um, it's uh, Slimer, uh, the 35th, I, I guess it's the 35th anniversary uh, Slimer. Um, uh, the box, the number on here is 747. Uh, <laughs> yeah and that's the back of the box it has these different figures i mean different uh, funko pops but i really don't plan on getting any of these other ones i just wanted slimer <clears throat> because um i don't really need another set of ghostbuster uh, uh figures since i've already uh uh, in one of my previous videos, I showed some of the Ghostbuster action figures that I have. The one that, uh, 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 the one that came with the different parts for that Build-A-Figure that I showed in one of my videos. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm, I'm pretty much happy with those. I don't really need to collect the entire series of the Funko Pop Ghostbusters. <clears throat> I mean, the only other, uh, the only other Funko Pop that I, I might consider getting, since I already have Slimer, the Stay, Stay Puff, Marshmallow Guy, or however you say it, like one of those, like not the roasted, the one that looks like he's, you know, uh, kind of been roasted by the. The proton pack thing, but the regular one that's, uh, it's, uh, yeah. So, this is actually my first, my very first ever Funko Pop to ever, you know, have in my collection. I don't know if I'm gonna collect any more, it depends on what it is because I'm very particular, of, you know, and stuff. And this one happens to be the one with Slimer stuffing his uh, face with hot dogs, I guess. It's kind of funny. <laughs> and I'm going to open this. Okay. Put that right there. Normally I don't open stuff but too often, but I figured I'd open this put that right there and it's really cool I like how it's you know like almost like you can see through them almost it's pretty cool yeah it's very neat and I like the the effect that they did to make it look like slime was dripping from off of them and everything it's kind of neat and yeah the one thing I, I will say that I like about this is I like that this is not a say uh, a bobblehead Funko Pop because if, if I was if I was to start collecting you know other Funko Pops in the future I would prefer that they're not a bobblehead because I feel like the bobbleheads are more likely to break than you know say the ones that aren't a bobblehead now I did see another one of these um, online and it was basically the same you know with uh, Slimer stuff in his face with you know hot dogs but the only difference was the eyes were different uh, a little bit different yeah and yeah 
I just think this is pretty cool. Let y'all see that a little bit. And yeah. Uh, I mean, I think Slimer just, he, he just looks really adorable. He really does. <laughs> yeah. He just looks so adorable. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I, th I think, if I'm not mistaken, somebody told me that this is a common, or... I don't really know the, you know, too much about, like, say, what's a common, what's a... I think they call it a chase. I don't know what it... If, if there's a chase of this, I don't know what it looks like. I don't know. But... I just thought this was pretty cool. But from what I've been told by a, f a few people, this is a common. In a Walmart. It's, I got it from Walmart, by the way. It's a Walmart exclusive, I guess. That's Somebody else told me that, too. I don't know that much about the... Like I said, this was my first Funko Pop that I've ever... You know, ever got for my collection. Um... Yeah, and uh, I just think it's really cool, and I hope, I hope to maybe get a few more Funko Pops, but I don't know yet. I'm not a 100% sure, like if it's something that I like, I might get it, you know. The only other one that I would want to go along with this would be if they had one of the Stay Puff Marshmallow dude. Preferably one that's not a bobblehead because I don't really like the bobblehead versions. I just feel like they're more easy to probably end up breaking, you know. Um, okay. I have a few more things I, uh, I'm, I want to show. Uh, I will be right back. And I'm back, y'all. Um, okay. This uh, next thing that I'm I'm gonna show is a Spider-Man. Uh, well, it's not Spider-Man, but it's a Spider-Man character, the Green Goblin. Uh, yeah. And uh, it comes with a another uh, head that you can switch out with the goblin green goblin head for this one and he also has like a little flaming I think pumpkin uh, Lisa at, at least I think that's what it is it looks like a green well it looks like a a pump like a small pumpkin with a a, a a green flame on it or whatever and it also comes with his glider that he uses yeah now they when I was getting this particular figure they did have the uh, something or whatever the uh, the green guy that looks like he has lightning abilities or something. Um, this guy right here. They did have that one, but I didn't want that one because I don't know that much about the character. And from when I used to watch the animated series, I never really saw this particular character in the animated series as far as I can remember. And, uh, yeah and yeah but I, I thought this was pretty cool and yeah and I'll turn this to where y'all can actually I hope y'all can see that okay I'll hold it up so you can if you want to read the rest of it you can yeah 
And then if you want to read anything on the front of it real quick. Um, now, the only thing I will say, I'm not going to take this out of the packaging. I'm not going to open it because I would rather keep it in mint condition than to open it. I know some people are like, oh, you should open it, but I don't want to because I want it to stay in mint condition. And, uh, yeah. It really looks like, uh, the Green Goblin from the comics and also from the Spider-Man animated series that was uh, on like during the 90s and stuff and everything. I really like the texture on the costume. It really looks really cool. I guess that's supposed to be like uh, scales or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's really neat. I wonder if they're going to come out. They may have already came out with it, but I don't know. They, ha they have, of course, the Green Goblin. Are they going to come out with the Hog Goblin? That's what I'd like to know. The, yeah, the, yeah. And, yeah. But this is a, you know, pretty cool figure. Yeah. Now, I was not sure if I wanted to even get, say, any of these figures from the series, but I, from this, from this series of, uh, figures, or whatever you want to call them. Or this wave of figures, I mean. Um... Now, I don't know if I'm going to even get any more of these. I don't know yet. If I see one that catches, you know, that ends up catching my eye, I might get it. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll be right back. Okay. Ugh. Oh, i got to stretch to turn the camera off. And I am back, uh, y'all. Um, and I also wanted to show some comic books, uh, that I got. Um, let me see if I can get them in the view of the camera. Uh, I guess that's good. It's, sometimes it's kind of, you know, difficult to, just to get the right camera angle. Sometimes. <laughs> Um, okay. This first uh, comic book is Fantastic Four. And uh, The Human Torch. I f always forget his name. I think it's Johnny Storm. I, th I think. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Um. Okay, Fantastic Four to Flame No More is what it says. It's pretty cool. I, li I like this one. I think it's really neat. Okay. And the next one is an, a, uh, another Fantastic Four uh, comic book. The funny thing about this one... I think I may have shown this one already. I'm not, I can't remember though, but I, I think I did. This one happens to be a, well, it's Fantastic Four, and it's, I guess you would say, a Christmas Fantastic Four comic, I guess you would say. Because the Christmas wreath, the Christmas tree, and, yeah, <laughs> and it's, uh, Doctor Doom and the thing and I'm not sure who these other people on the bottom are because I can't really see their face. Um yeah. It's pretty cool. 
I like how it has sort of a Christmassy kind of thing to it. It's pretty cool. And, okay. Let me move these over here for the moment. And this next one is Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck. And I believe I actually have shown this one before. It's pretty cool. Um, and apparently the, I guess that's the villain, I guess he, I don't even know what you'd call his name. Dr. Okay, I guess that's his name. He looks like he has a, a, uh, a, like a giant, uh, bell, like a giant bell. At least I think that's what it is. It's a giant bell. And he apparently is wearing the giant bell on his head. Hmm. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. And, yeah. That's Howard the Duck. And some... I think it's... Uh, I don't know who that is, to be honest with you. And the next one... This is the next one. It's another Howard the Duck comic, and it's okay. I think, if I'm not mistaken, both of these Howard the Duck comic books are from the 70s. 1977, to be exact, on, on both of them. This one is, the, okay, the... I think it says the Uncanny X-Men. And, uh... I'm not 100% sure on the, these characters. The only characters that I, I am familiar with from the X-Men is like... Storm, Wolverine, Cyclops, uh... Gambit, Jean, Rogue, Jubilee... And the professor, you know, and stuff. And there's that one. Uh, okay. The new mutants. Okay. There's that. The new mutants. There's that one. I'm trying to speed through these. Um. The new uh, mutants, and I think it says, uh, if I'm, if that's what I think it says, uh, slumber party. <laughs> I think that's what it says. That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, and this is a Superboy comic. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I would rather just have a Superman comic. And, uh, and of course I have this one. This one's pretty cool. It has the Ghost Rider. And... I think that's a vampire. If I'm not mistaken. It's pretty cool. This next one is Sabretooth. I think this is the last one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. This one's pretty cool. It's Sabretooth. And, I mean, when you look at the cover, it doesn't really look all that appealing, to be honest. But, as soon as you open it up and look at it, it actually looks way cooler. And then it has this little spot right here. Which is supposed to be like a claw mark, I guess. I think this is probably a very awesome, uh, a very awesome uh, picture of uh, Sabretooth. Really cool. I mean, the artwork is just beautifully done. Really, really cool. I mean, the face is just amazing. 
And that's pretty much all for that. Okay. And I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back, everybody. And I, feel, I, I thought that I would show this. I just got done showing the uh, Green Goblin action figure. And I, I, I thought to myself, well, I should maybe show it in a little more better detail. So, I hope y'all can see it okay. I may have to lean it forward a little bit. Just to get it in the little thing here so it will not fall over and uh, I think it looks really amazing I mean the face of the green goblin looks really cool you know it like I said er earlier it comes with this other head that you can switch out with the green goblin uh, head and he has his glider he has his uh, his glider and his little flaming uh, green flamed pumpkin thing yeah and I, I just thought this was really cool I, did, I hope that y'all can see it really well I wanted to make sure you could see it and have, you know, a little bit better detail of everything. I mean, it really is amazing. I mean, I like how the the arms and the legs look like, kind of like, I guess, I guess it's supposed to be like scales or something. I don't know. It's very cool. Let's see if y'all can see that pretty cool I think it's amazing um okay and I'll be back in just a second and I'm back uh, everybody and this is the this okay this is the Slimer Funko Pop um, and I wanted to show this really quick and show the side of the box just to be able to show this in like better detail the other uh, Funko Pops you can get uh, collect that way that way and okay let me see if I can balance this thing out a little bit Okay, that should be a little better, I hope. <laughs> and I will be back in a second. I'm going to take uh, the Funko Pop out of the box for better detail. And I'm back, y'all. I just took the Slimer Funko Pop out of the box. And... I, I think it looks so cool. It's really a... <clears throat> I, I think he looks very adorable. <laughs> for... <laughs> it just looks really adorable to me. Let's see here. Do it like that. I hope y'all can see it really well. Let me scoot it back. I just thought it looked... Uh, very adorable. And here's the side. Here's the back. And here's the other side. And back to the front here. I just thought he'd... I, I just thought that this was a really cool looking uh, Funko Pop. Um... I think he looks really funny with all the hot dogs and you know stuffing all the hot dogs in his mouth kind of a little bit of a glutton there but <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny 
and uh, yeah, from what I've been told, uh, this is a common uh, Slimer Funko Pop. I don't know what a Slimer Funko Pop that's not a common would look like. Uh, I think they call it a chase or something. I don't know what a if there is a Slimer chase, what it would actually look like. Because I've never really been able to find one to be able to know what it would look like. Um, yeah. And that's the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please comment down below. Please subscribe and please share this video. And don't forget to click the bell so that you will be notified every time I make a new upload. And also, I occasionally do live streams every once in a while. And also, sometimes when I do my videos, sometimes I do a premiere sometimes. So be, you know, look at, uh, basically look out for those, you know, if, you know, whenever I actually do another one. <laughs> and uh, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate every single person that has took time out of their day to watch my videos. It really means a lot to me. Thank you and bye everybody. Peace.